It's a beautiful night in April, and MJ and Peter are looking good getting ready for their dinner with Harry Osborne and his wife. Are you sure this is a good idea? No, but at least it gives us the excuse to get out the house for a little bit and look good, you know what I'm saying? That's true, and I must say, you clean up very nice, Mr. Parker. She rocking with the drip. Well, I run a tough crowd, I'm just trying to keep up. But then somebody shouts out, there he is, Harry Osborne arrived. Sorry I'm late. Hey, Harry, how's it going? Doing well, doing well. You find this place all right? We did, pretty nice. They wasn't trying to let us in until we let them know your name though sorry about that the crowd can get a bit insufferable just awful people really yeah by the way harry i want you to meet my wife mj it's a pleasure to meet you peter told me all about you honestly he won't shut up about you the man's obsessed harry also congratulates her on her new business peter tells harry where's your wife at she had a little business thing uptown she should be here in a few minutes ah there she is peter mj this is my wife gwen stace sorry i'm late things got a little bit complicated i'm not gonna lie she look good as shit she shakes their hands, excited to meet both of them. They sit down and start grubbing on this weak-ass plate of food. That shit look trash. MJ takes a bite. Mmm, this shit good. Peter points out that they haven't been on a date since before they had kids. Gwen, you got any kids? Children? No. I think I'll make a good mom, but none for us yet. We are considering it, though. Well, it's the best thing ever. What's the holdup? Harry tells them the world we'd be bringing them into. Sure, I get it. It's a scary proposition either way. How long have you guys been married? Eight years, three months, and ten, no, eleven. Days. They've been together for a long ass time. The convo then shifts to MJ's new business. MJ started a PR firm. She's a bit of a marketing genius. How nice, how'd you get into it? She explains her whole work history and tells him the reason she decided to start her own is because working for others got really twisted. They became too shysty and she couldn't take it anymore. Right now, I'm on retainer at Damage Control. And last week, I started helping James Jonah Jameson and Peter's uncle, Ben Parker. They're starting their own news outlet. We just settled on a name and we find out they named it The Paper. We see Jonah and Ben babysitting Peter's kids. Why are we calling it the paper when the shit's gonna be online? Is this supposed to be ironic or something? I think the word she used was meta. Richard is just reading and MJ's on the floor. Uncle Ben? Yes, dear. Is Jonah gonna be leaving soon? Back with the couples, we see that it's time for dessert. Harry tells them the paper sounds great, but Harry is also surprised that they're going with this route because it's kind of a closed system. It's hard to be successful in that market right now. I don't know. It depends on how much they cover and how deep they dig. Two old ass guys with nothing to lose that could be useful like look at the bugles coverage about the man in all black they're intentionally obtuse they miss all the points of the man with the mask which is that he exists for a reason there must be a point for him a purpose for someone or for some ones he's fulfilling something whether it's good or bad now i'd like to think he isn't a bad guy but in a lot of ways him being a good guy would be more upsetting to certain people it would imply that something is wrong with the world and maybe he's what we're looking for a cure for all of us. Peter like, damn, I could see you thought about this shit. People need heroes, Peter. And if your uncle's gonna report on that, good for him. After that little talk, Gwen goes to the restroom and MJ goes with her. Both look in the mirror, fixing their hair, putting on some lip gloss, looking good. Love that color on you. Thanks. Gwen tells MJ, can I ask you something? Am I coming off too strong with my opinions? Nah, girl, you're good. Great, I was hoping to ask you for a favor. Yeah, how can I help? She lets MJ know that Oscorp took over Stark slash Thane and they scaled up a lot in unexpected expected ways basically they have way too much money right now and she needs to get some off the books so she asks mj if she can connect her with the old men jonah and ben i'm kind of in the mood to see if i can launch a pirate ship basically she trying to help them out back with the boys harry smiles and points at peter you haven't told her have you no i wait you told gwen Hell yeah. How much? Everything. She's the love of my life. I don't keep secrets between us. Are you really telling me you haven't told anyone? Peter puts his hand on his face. My kid caught me in my costume. Listen, I'm keeping this secret not because I don't trust MJ, but because I want to keep them protected. I'm not even sure I want to keep doing this shit, whatever you call this. I seen you in action, pal. You want to do this. And if I'm brave enough to do it, you should be too. And why is that? Because I'm just some guy in a suit. You have actual abilities. He tells Peter, we're built for this shit. We're built to save the world. Peter, I'm not going to tell you what to do or how to do it. It's not my place and it's not my call. You have to decide that. Nobody's forcing you to come along the ride. But you need to understand where this is headed and what we're up against. People are playing God and they're playing for keeps. Worse than that, they've been doing this our whole lives. It's institutional. It's systematic. It's the whole damn world. And you, you have great power. And with great power comes great responsibility. Mm. 
Harry delivering that line is kinda crazy. It's such a gift, but only if you use it. Peter takes all that shit in. Later, after that dinner, we see him and MJ walking down the street. They talk about what they think about Gwen and Harry. They're nice, but they were kinda a little bit scary. Peter asks MJ, what do you think about what they were saying? About the world needing heroes. What do I need heroes for, Peter? I got you. Aww. And they happily walk down the street with their arms on each other. I'ma end it off right here. This chapter was filled with a whole lot of yap, but we learned a lot from it. Let me know what y'all think about it in the comments, and I'ma see y'all boys and girls next time. Yeah.